Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and yeah, it's draft time again. I know, I feel like I've been doing a lot of drafts, but they're just fun. They really are, and they're more, I don't know, just like fresh than a, a Be A Pro series, which I haven't really been having a lot of fun with, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't really had a lot of motivation to record them either, so yeah, the fantasy drafts are very prominent on the channel right now, plus, you know, some other series like the All Trades Accepted, and just doing trade challenges stuff of that nature but today we are going to be drafting only defensemen if i don't find the comment i'm sorry i saw it like twice i think from the same person saying to do a defenseman only draft and i did not capture the comment at the time except for up here and now i'm going to be doing it but if, if i can't find the comment you know who you are so shout out to you i'm recording this video right after the other one so if the green screen setup did not work for the last one it ain't working for this one either but anyway let's go ahead and randomize the team here and I am going to be stopping in approximately now. We get Vancouver. All right. That is a team that we don't land on very often. My guess is we get picked 12. I don't know. Just something random. Throw it out there. Could be right. Most likely not. We get 10. I'm down for that. Hold that thought. I'm going to have to put us at 10th again. But I want to get a different roster. I forgot to do that. Okay, you know what? This one still has a lot of downloads considering... Yeah, okay, we'll just keep running that one then for now. I've once again completely filled up the save slots for the franchise mode by just having autosave on, I suppose. I know some people want to see me do a franchise mode again, but why? Why would you want to put yourself through that? No one seemed to enjoy it because I had no idea what I was doing. Wow, we got pick 28 this time. I don't think so. Back to 10, we go. The best defenseman on the board is Taves at 91 overall. He's only making 4 million. That's pretty good. Yeah, I can't say no to that. Well, Welcome to the team, Taze. We're gonna have a big gap between this pick and our next one, too, which is unfortunate. I kind of want to take John Carlson, but also, uh, we're gonna have a pretty close pick, so I'm just gonna hope that these two... But you know what? No, I'm gonna take one of them. Let's go with... Let's go with Chernak. And now, I am going to take Noah Hannafin at 87 overall. Ryan Lindgren, 85 overall, only making 3 million. I gotta take a goalie real soon. Ooh, that fell off faster than I thought it would. I'm gonna go with Billy Husso because he seems to do very well. Every time I've done a franchise simulation, he's always up there with a big asterisk beside always because I could be making that up, but I feel like he's there a majority of the time. Let's go with Grizzlick. Am I even gonna be able to make a full team out of defense? Is it gonna allow it? Guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go, Giordano. Welcome to the team, Jensen. 2.5 million, you can't go wrong with that. And I'm gonna take Gudis next if he's still there. He most certainly is. Welcome to the team, Radko. Oli Mata will be my next selection. Very expensive, don't care. EK65. Also very expensive, but medium elite and only 26. Seth Jones. Holding at 1.3. After those two picks, I need a little bit of a break here. So that's a good salary. <laughs> Let's grab Mayfield. 1.4, 81 overall. Why not? You know, why not? Hanley. 82 overall. Okay, Joel, I see you. Welcome to the team. Goligoski's the next player to join the party. I don't think it's gonna let me pick only defensemen because we're at 15 out of 10 and that bar is pretty full. I mean, what I could end up doing is just drafting forwards and then... Trade for defensemen. I'm gonna grab Burrows. Kyle Burrows. All right. Because of the 1.8, Braun will be our next player. Oh, actually, it is gonna let us do it. I just realized we are a lot closer to done than I thought. We're already at round 19. So basically, we need one more defenseman and a goalie, and we are good to go. That came a lot faster than I thought it would. And as a result, I'm gonna take Carey Price to be our backup goalie. I suppose I'll take Eric Johnson as our final defenseman. This team is gonna be very, very interesting. I don't know what my brain's doing, but I hit circle and almost backed out of the whole draft. I would have been very upset. Okay, there's our team. Let's go put it together and see how bad our line chemistry is. It's gonna be bad. It's just a matter of how bad. Yeah, I knew they were gonna try to force some forwards on us here, which I simply will not allow. We actually get a plus one by doing that. That is hilarious. Even our defense can't figure it out. I basically just brought Seth Jones back and put Chernak on the first line here. This team is not gonna do well. I have absolutely no hope for this squad, but this is what our offense, offense looks like. I didn't realize how far left I moved, so I also might have just been cut off from the green screen. But anyway, here's our defense. We got Jones and Taves, Jensen Hannafin. Yeah, it's just, we're not good. We're not, but maybe we'll make it work. Billy Huso and Carey Price, what a weird team. Devin Taves gets the most points with 45 and we get 
30 wins? Maybe? That's my guess. Okay, or we're insane. Haven't lost a game in regulation yet. What is happening? Well, it was fun while it lasted, but we fell flat on our face. This is one of those situations again, where if we finish with as many wins as we had regulation losses, I count that as a complete W. And actually, you know what? If we get to the trade deadline with a respectable record, there might be some high-end defensemen on the trade block that we could go after. Just take a moment to imagine if a team actually entered the NHL with this strategy. It's not really a respectable record, and we're probably gonna lose to Calgary because they're insane. 2-1. Let's make ourselves a buyer and just see if there are any defensemen. Maybe there will be. Shifley, Petrangelo, he would be a nice player to get. He's all the way down to 84 overall. Okay, never mind all that. We're just going to carry on with the team we got. Hope for the best. Two first round picks headed to Toronto in exchange for Shifley, Jumbo Joe, and a third. We're sixth, actually seventh in the division right now. So playoffs are looking like a no-go. But remember what I said. If we can at least get as many wins as regulation losses, I am going to be very, very happy with how this team performed actually screw that nonsense first of all we did it we actually did it but i would have been happy with how the team played no matter what we ended up finishing seventh in the division with 85 points 39 wins so not a great year but i mean all things considered i still find that to be a success the golden knights go on to win the president's trophy with 107 points let's find out what their team consisted of jt miller malkin and tarasenko Kreider, strom yamark they have a good team here hedman muzzin forsling doomlin ranta okay they had alex kalorn as a scratch Okay. It was close to the top 16, but no, not quite. We finished 26th in the league. That is lower than I thought it would be. Taves led the team with 62, and then Burroughs with 57. Holden had 53, Chernak 51. Let's see how our goalies did. We got a 918 and 261 from Villahu, so I will be drafting this man again. 30 wins, 9-7 and 2 from Carey Price with a 906, 291. Allen led the league with 44 wins. He had an 899 save percentage and a 304 goals against average, but he still led the league for wins. And unlike the last draft where I saw a bunch of 0.92 save percentages. I don't see any here. That's the guy I really wanted for our team, but unfortunately I could not get him. He had 77 points. He led all defensemen. 67 for Hughes. 65 from Theodore. Barzal gets the Art Ross with 99 points. No one broke 100 this time either. Last time we had five. Dreisaitl with 97. Malkin 96. Who's gonna get the... Okay, looks like it's Matthews with 54. Carolina goes on to win the Stanley Cup. They finished fourth in the league with 100 points and their team consisted of Huberdo, Hurdle, and Gensel. They brought back Lindholm. Couture and Schmaltz for their second line. Ekholm, Fowler, Byram, Soderstrom, Pavel, and Net with Stewie as the backup. I'm actually very impressed with how our team did. I know I said it already, but truthfully, I did not expect us to do nearly as good as we did. Barzell has the Art Ross. The Hart goes to Dreisaitl Hughes with the Norris. Lady Bing goes to Barzell. Boldy gets the Calder. Huberdeau with the Conn Smythe, Hellebuck gets the Vesna and the Jennings, Murphy with the Masterton, LaBarbra gets the Jack Adams, Barkov with the Selkie, Malkin with the Ted Lindsay, and Matthews with the Rocky Richard. Well, that was interesting. If you want me to do a forwards-only draft, we could do that as well and just have forwards playing defense. I feel like that might go a little bit better because they're, you know is 12 forwards and six defensemen, literally double. So we're putting only six forwards on defense as opposed to 12 defense in forward. But I still had fun with that one. And as I mentioned, it turned out better than I expected. Is there any sweeps? There was one, Carolina and Pittsburgh, a sweep in round one. But other than that, no. Carolina had a really easy run, actually. They never went to seven. Stanley Cup Finals was their biggest competition and it went to the big six. No seven though. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. If you have other draft ideas or any video ideas in general, even for like the trade challenge type videos, go ahead and let me know. And yeah, just thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you and I will be seeing you soon.